My name is Peter Blumeyer, and it is my great privilege to welcome you to the Salvation Army of Northeast Florida's ninth annual Red Shield Ball. As always, the purpose of this year's ball is to continue to improve the quality of life and services provided to members of our community who reside at the Tower Center of Hope, including the women and children of the Center's Red Shield Lodge. The Salvation Army has operated in Northeast Florida for well over a century, providing vital safety net services for the hungry, homeless, and others in need. The Army's scope is one of the broadest of any major charity, with programs ranging from domestic violence intervention to local ministry and child development. In the past, we have generated significant financial support for projects including a full renovation and modernization of the Red Shield Lodge, common areas, and living accommodations, a major overhaul of our kitchen facility, which provides a free hot meal to anyone in need each day, and a reimagination of the food pantry into a more traditional marketplace. This year, our theme of Love Beyond These Walls which echoes that of the Salvation Army's national messaging, expresses our desire to expand the scope of our support to include providing enhancements to the transitional services offered to guests departing the center and the lodge. Now I'd like to introduce Julia Gordy, our local director of social services, who will tell you more about the programs and services we offer. The Red Shield Lodge at the Tower Center of Hope is one of the most important mainstays for the Salvation Army of Northeast Florida. Currently, the Tower Center of Hope houses over 56 women, children, and men who have for various circumstances found themselves homeless and in need of a safe and secure haven. For over 36 years, the Tower Center of Hope has met the needs of the community. This year's proceeds raised for the Fund the Need program will assist in transitioning our clients from transitional housing into a permanent housing solution, something that they can call their own. When someone comes into our program, we work with them to set goals and find out what do they need to do to achieve that self-sufficiency to have permanent housing. Those goals can be finding employment, securing childcare for children, it can be going back to school, achieving GEDs or college education. It can take anywhere from three months to over a year for an individual to find permanent housing, but we are here to help meet their needs during that time in order to help them achieve those goals. I'm currently here in the Bundle of Hope room. This room was donated to be set up for us to take in women who are pregnant. During their stay here, they are able to get prenatal care, they are able to work on educational goals, and we also provide childcare classes. In our family section, we house both women, children, and their families. We offer opportunities for instructional tutoring through our learning lab, field trips, and educational activities for the youth. We also have a playground that allows them to have a safe environment to play and just be children. This is our dining hall where we offer three meals a day to every participant and child here in the shelter. We offer snacks and drinks throughout the day. We want to make sure that every child and adult has a well-rounded balanced meal while they're here. We also provide case management services where every participant has a case manager that they work with and meet with on a weekly basis that helps them to achieve those goals that they're working towards. Everything we do here is to help the participants of the shelter achieve permanent housing. That's where you come in. This year's Fund a Need is raising financial assistance to help provide the participants the means to be able to get out on their own. That means that we can provide rental assistance, rental deposits, utilities, and furnishings for their new homes. Our goal is to help them go from transitional housing to their own permanent home. Thank you for all that you do to support our program. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoy your time and thank you for all you do. Our 2022 Red Shield Ball honorary chairs are Carl and Rita Cannon. The Cannons are longtime Jacksonville residents, parents of three and grandparents of six. Rita has been an active member of the Salvation Army Women's Auxiliary for more than 30 years. During her tenure, she has served as Auxiliary President and currently serves as Chair of the Celebrity Chef Selection Committee. Carl was the former publisher of the Florida Times Union, a position he held for nearly two decades, during which he played an integral part in bringing the Jaguars franchise to Jacksonville. Both Carl and Rita are involved extensively in the support of our community, devoting their efforts to organizations like the Jacksonville Public Library, Jacksonville Zoo, and Jacksonville Symphony. 
in addition to the Salvation Army. We are thankful for their support and their example as volunteer leaders. On behalf of myself and my wife, Devin, the Red Shield Ball Selection Committee, our local advisory board, and all of our staff, I want to tell you how grateful we are that you chose to be here tonight in support of this worthwhile cause. Enjoy your evening.